Hey guys, in this video, we're going to review how to automatically set up your targets and stop losses for each one of your trades. So you don't, instead of doing it uh, manually, so how would you set it up manually? You will have to go into each one of your trades and add here your target. For example, for this trade, I'm going to say that my target was $3 and then I'm going to click the plus sign and then it's going to add that target for me. That's one way to do it. Uh, the other way to do it, which is uh, my preferable, is you go here into trade settings and then you're gonna scroll here where it says targets and stop losses. And then you're gonna choose between, it's gonna be by default, it's gonna say, no, I do not want a automatic targets and stop losses, but you're gonna say yes, if you want to try them out, okay? And then you're gonna define which rule do you want to apply? There, we have three rules. You can define a target by percentage. For example, you could say that your target is gonna be always a 20%, okay? So you wanna capture 20% of a move. Okay, so in this case, I have set up mine as a percentage. So my first target is that I want to aim for 10%. So I want to capture 10% of the move. And then my second target is 20%. And my third target is 30%. You could do the same thing with stop losses. You could say, in my case, I say my stop losses is uh, 5%. And then the next one is 10%. And the next one is 15%. So that's how much I'm willing to lose. Uh, you could do it also with price. So for example, a... Uh, you could say that I want to capture a 20 cents on the move, or you could say I want to capture then after 40 cents of the move, and then after it will be I will be capturing 50 cents of the move. So that will be your targets, okay? So this, if you set it by price, then you are setting up oh, how much uh, are you are you willing or are you, you want to aim to take on the trade that you're making. Lastly, you could set it by profit uh, and loss ratio. So here you can say your profit loss ratio could be, let's say, uh, in my case, is uh, two to one. Okay, so I'm gonna say that I'm gonna risk uh, two hundred dollars on each trade. That's my, um, that's what I'm willing to risk. So once I have defined my rule, I can click here on apply this configuration to all my current trades. And then I can click here, override uh, your targets and stop losses on your current trade if you have already made some manual uh, targets and stop losses, okay? Once you do this, you click save, and then this is gonna apply to all your trades and all your trades moving forward are gonna have this setting. If at some point you don't want this uh, feature anymore, you can just say no, click save, and then that's gonna save the settings and it will stop adding your targets and stop losses. But personally, this is a feature that I use all the time because I do have a preset strategy where I tell the system, hey, I want to always go for at least a 10% of the movement, okay? So here I will have it as 10, and then my next one, if, if I see the stock that is moving quickly, I will ignore my 10% and then go after my 20, okay? And that's how I will handle it. Now, uh, the beauty of this is that if you go back to your dashboard and then you go to your trades, for example, this one, then you scroll down. Not only I'm gonna be able to see all my targets and stop losses here, but I'm also gonna be able to see it on the charts, which is one of my personal favorite features. For example, here I can see the price action for these stocks. I can see my entry execution, my exit execution, but I can see also my targets, okay, on the chart, and I can see my stop. So this will also help you analyze did you make a good trade or not? And if you perhaps made a mistake, you should record this here so you can make a better trade next time. Okay, so this is how you will go about it and uh, set your automatic uh, targets and stop losses. Thank you.